Hi, it's Miss Parrot, and here I am at the Largo Central Park Nature Preserve, and I'm at the lake. We found so many birds today, and I wanted to show you and help you see how you can identify a cormorant, a double-crested cormorant. All right, so let's check it out. This is a double-crested cormorant. Now, just take a second to look at some of the features. Okay, so a lot of times cormorants and anhingas get mixed up because they look very similar. They have similar adaptations because they're both diving birds. They're both dark in color and they both have a lighter beak. Um, but check out the cormorant is smaller, its body is smaller than anhingas. They both do that thing where, you know, they spread their wings out really wide to dry off because they're diving birds, they're not, um, they're not waterproof. So when they get out of the water, they have to hold their wings out um, very far to let them air dry. Uh, so they both have that same like coloration, that same behavior, but let's look specifically at the cormorant and see some of its traits. All right, one thing that distinguishes it, and you can see pretty well, is that beak. Um, so besides being smaller, right, the beak, oops, sorry, is shorter too, and you can see there's kind of a little hook at the end. That hook distinguishes it from the anhinga, so cormorants have that. Also, um, this light may make it hard to see, but trust from my voice that cormorants have a very bright light blue eye um, whereas anhingas do not uh, sorry about the lighting I can't help the sun um, but you notice they have a very bright blue eye and that's also a big hint that it's a, uh, a cormorant its neck does that same hook back kind of thing that an anhingas does but it's a shorter neck so that's another distinguishing characteristic um, their tails are shorter uh, and I just think these guys are extra special.